Hello, friends. Sleep Tight Stories, Sleep Tight Relax, and Sleep Tight Science are now available to play on Story Button, the device that makes it easy to listen to our shows and more without having to use a phone or tablet. This month, you can save $10 at storybutton.com when you use the code Sleep Tight. Story Button, the home of imagination. Hello, friends, and welcome to Sleep Tight Stories. I'd like to say hello to Artie from Mentone, Victoria, Australia, from his mama, dada, and little sister Mia, who are so proud of him starting school. Hello to Flynn in Prince Edward Island. Hello to Etta, who is 10 years old, and hello to Roham, who is 7 years old from Iran. Mommy and Daddy are proud of you because you are strong and brave. Happy belated birthday to Lizzie, who turned nine on February 16th, from Mom, Dad, and Brother Ben. Happy belated birthday to Sophie in New Orleans, who turned four on February 13th. Mom and Dad love you always and forever, no matter what. Happy belated birthday to Ellis from Rochester, Minnesota, who turned seven on February 2nd. Mama says, I love you and I'm so proud of you. And happy belated birthday to Maverick, who turned six on February 18th. We are so proud of you, Moo. You are growing into such an awesome young man. Love mom and dad. Happy birthday to Idris Alagui, who is turning six on February 19th. Happy birthday, keep reading, playing football, and being your sweet, funny self. Love Papa and Nana Rooney. Happy birthday to Maddie in Waukee, Iowa, who is turning nine on February 20th. Mom, Dad, and Catherine are so proud of you and love you better. Happy birthday to Vera Kelly from Chicago, Illinois, who is turning four on February 20th. Happy fourth birthday, Vera. Mommy, Daddy, and Liv love you so much. Happy birthday to Ariana Ball from Bonnie Lake, Washington, who is turning eight on February 20th. Mom, Dad, and Cora love you. Happy birthday to Mira, who is turning four on February 25th. And happy birthday to Tegan, who is turning nine on February 25th. Mom and Dad love you very much and want to wish you a happy ninth birthday. They love you, sweet girl. Shoutouts and birthday wishes are one way we give thanks to our supporters. If you would like to support us and receive extra stories, ad-free listening, shoutouts or birthday wishes, please visit our support page at sleeptightstories.org support. Thank you. Bernice comes home and says she has no time to do anything but work on her homework. She tells Papa Bear that she has so much homework that she is not even sure she'll have time to eat. Papa Bear asks her to take a breath, sit down, and then they look at her homework together to see what all the fuss is about. Bernice has too much homework. Bernice and Ethan ran down the street, almost slipping and falling on the ice. I guess we have no time to make snowballs today, Ethan said as they stopped at Bernice's walkway. Not today, Ethan, but maybe we can talk later if we work together on our project tonight, Bernice said, walking up the walkway to the front door of her house. Great idea, Ethan said as he ran down the street. Good luck. Hi, Papa and Cookie. I'm home, Bernice said as she quickly went in through the front door of their small house and started frantically trying to take off her stubborn snow boots. I smell some super deliciousness from the kitchen, Papa, but I have some super bad news. I'm sorry to hear you have bad news, little bear, 
after you take off your outside clothes, come into the kitchen and tell me all about it, Papa Bear said in his really deep voice. Just then, Cookie came to the front door to say hello to Bernice, who had to sit down to take off her boots after all. Hi, Cookie. I missed you today, but I have some bad news. I don't think I have time to give you your pets and play after snack like I usually do. Today at school, the teachers seemed to be in a super bad mood or something and gave us so much homework. I don't think I will be able to eat or sleep for a whole week. Cookie replied by rubbing up against Bernice and purring. Yeah, I know, it's too bad. But after I am finished, we can play then, Bernice said as she finally got her boots off. Walking quickly into the kitchen, Bernice looked at the plate of warm cookies waiting for her on the kitchen table. They were her fourth favorite kind and even had her name stamped on them. Setting down her heavy book bag, she blurted, Hi, Papa. I'm sorry, but I don't think I have time for cookies today. I just have too much to do, and if I don't get it done, that will not be good, and the teachers are in such a bad mood. Okay, slow down, little bear. Take a deep breath and tell me what the problem is, Papa Bear said calmly. Bernice took a deep breath and continued a bit slower this time. All the teachers gave us so much homework, Papa, like big assignments and stuff. Math, science, art, English, and more stuff. The only teacher who didn't give us homework was the gym teacher. But that teacher is always in a good mood, except when Bobby fools around. It's like they have become super strict or something, at least compared to last week anyway. Okay, I can see that you are concerned. Why don't we just sit and look at the work you have to do and plan it all out? I don't think it could be as bad as you think. But Papa, Bernice said, reluctantly sitting down. Bobby said that maybe the teachers got together and made a plan. I'm not sure what kind of plan he meant, but he was almost as worried as I am. Let me look at your science, Papa Bear said, as he opened up her science binder. Wow, this is a big assignment. It looks like you, Bobby, Ethan, and Gertrude are working together on a research project. But this project isn't due until the end of the semester, little bear. Opening up her math binder, he said, okay, You have some math homework for tonight, and your teacher gave you a schedule for the next test and what you'll be working on. It's not all due immediately, and English is the same. Your teacher has asked you to start reading the latest novel, and I think you might have read it already at home with Mama. Your art teacher asked you to try to create some art after studying to help you relax and express what you learned. It's also not due tomorrow, little bear. But Bobby made it seem like an emergency and so did some of the other kids. It's not an emergency and Bobby sometimes exaggerates and wants to do things all at once right away. I'm sure his mom is talking to him right now, helping him to focus on one thing at a time. You don't have to, but why don't you sit for a bit? Have some cookies while they are warm, drink some milk, and tell me more about your day. Your cookies do smell and look delicious, Papa, Bernice said with a great big grin. She was already feeling much better. So, other than all this homework, how was the rest of your day? Papa Bear asked as he gave Bernice a big glass of milk. It was okay, I guess, but Papa, will you help me with the science homework that I have tonight? 
Maybe math, too? Bernice asked before she took a break and took a big bite from her cookie. Of course, little bear. We always have fun learning science together. Phew. I'm super smart in science, Papa, but it feels better to have some help. Anyway, the teachers did seem a bit more serious today. I guess if I think about it, it was because we were starting some new stuff and they wanted to make sure we had a good start. I like it better when we have fun, though. At lunchtime, it was Ethan's turn to have some interesting lunch, and he brought enough to share with all of us. He had some kind of fried noodles with vegetables in them, and they were super yummy. Bobby had some, too, but he wouldn't eat the carrot slices because he still thinks it causes him to make stinks. Ethan said it usually has peanut sauce in it, but some kids are allergic to it in school, so his grandma didn't include that. But because Ethan brought so much, I didn't have to share, so I'm not as hungry as usual. You still seem to be eating all of your cookies, Papa Bear said with a laugh. Grinning, Bernice said, I always have room for your cookies. They are super delicious. Oh, and Papa... I forgot to tell you. Bobby gave me a valentine last week. He said he didn't like valentines because he thought they were too mushy-mushy. But he said his mother told him it doesn't have to be. That you can give valentines to friends, too. So he gave me one because we are good friends. I think other than Cookie, he is my best friend, Papa. That's great, little bear. Bobby is a great friend. Papa Bear said with a smile. Yeah, the valentine had a poop emoji on the back, which is kind of funny. So, how do you feel now about the assignments the teachers gave you? Papa Bear asked as he took a sip of tea. I guess I was a little too excited. The science project will be fun, I think, and I love working with friends. I suppose it's not so different than any other time, except the teachers kind of seem to do things together and have bigger projects over the course of the rest of the school year. You are growing up, little bear. The assignments will get more challenging as you get older and spend more time in school. But I am sure you will do great if you try hard. Yeah, I know, Papa. I like working at stuff. But sometimes I just get too excited, I guess. I understand. Now, why don't you finish your milk and give Cookie a couple of pets before you start your math? If you have any questions, I would be happy to help. Your mama is better than me in math, but I can try to help until she gets home. Thank you, Papa. It's that time, Papa, Bernice said as she crawled into her bed and got cozy with her friends, Twigga, Wolfie, and Madeline. And what time is that, little bear, replied her Papa. I think it's time for you to give me a great big hug, yawned Bernice. Well, I certainly can give you one of those, Papa Bear said, returning Bernice's yawn. Cookie, it's time to cuddle up, Bernice said, calling out to Cookie. I hear her coming, little bear, Papa Bear said. Cookie ran into Bernice's bedroom, jumped up on the bed, gave Bernice a headbutt, and curled up beside her and the other friends that she slept with. Can you tell me a story, Papa? A story about Boo Boo and Kai Kai? Papa Bear asked. No, you can tell me a Boo Boo and Kai Kai story another night. I would like to hear more stories about you and Mama. Mama told me once that you made special chicken soup for her when she was sick. It was many years ago, she said. Many years ago makes it sound like too long ago, little bear, Papa Bear said with a laugh. I'm still young, don't you think? Well, sort of, I guess, Bernice said laughing. Your mother and I used to eat lots of home cooking when we were in school because, as students, 
we didn't have a lot of extra money. Your mother would make delicious lasagna and we would eat that all week. We even had what we called a penny jar. Pennies, Papa? <laughs> That's right. There aren't pennies anymore. Maybe I am old, Papa Bear said with a laugh. Pennies used to be our smallest coins, and we would save them and larger ones in this great big jar. When the jar was full, we would take it to the bank and they would change them for bills. Sometimes, we would have enough money to treat ourselves to a movie. If we were really lucky, the movie theater would have a special for students, and we could watch movies all afternoon. Those Saturdays were fun. Yeah, I like going to the movies on Saturday. Maybe we can invite Bobby, Gertrude, and Ethan sometime. That would be fun. We could try. We didn't always go to the movies. Sometimes, we would use that money and have dinner at a restaurant. I would even get dressed up and wear a fancy jacket. Really, Papa? You used to get dressed super handsome? Ha <laughs> ha, I guess you could say that. But am I not handsome when I wear my old jeans? Papa Bear said, smiling. Yeah, I think so, Papa. But I heard Mama saying that you look super handsome when you wear a fancy shirt and tie, Bernice said, as her eyes got droopy. I think all I ever want to wear is my favorite jeans, sneakers, and a dinosaur t-shirt. But not in winter, because I have to wear my super stubborn winter boots. Yes, you and I have the same taste in clothes, but you might change later. Dresses look nice, too. Maybe, Papa, Bernice said with a yawn, but I think jeans are the best. I think it's time for a hug, Papa Bear said, before you give me your yawns, and then I give Mama the yawns. And then we all yawn together, Bernice said with a smile. As they yawned again, Papa Bear gave Bernice a big hug. I love you, Papa. I love you too, little bear. And that is the end of our story. Good night. Sleep tight. <laughs>